Hello, I'm Arabella from Arabella Social Book Art. I'm going to do something I want to do for a long time. These are my homemade uh, gel uh, plates. Uh, this is uh, glycerin and small packets of um, yeah, I will put it uh, in this in the on screen what I exactly use but these are were getting so old and I did have some protection uh, sheets for it just uh, plastic sheets and it did stay uh, fine so I did wash them but I I'm leaving a little bit of this uh, in it so it will become a different color and that's also something new I want to try, but I already did it. Uh, but that was uh, an accident and that big gel plate became black because I left a little bit of black paint, uh, acrylic paint. But that make, made it firmer. So as you can see, this one's also firm. Let me see if I'm a little bit of frame, yes. So this is a small portion of my kitchen and this is my uh, microwave. And you, uh, I'm going to cut this in small pieces and then see what happens if, and also, I'm uh, doing things, uh, so I'm going to he reheat this in the microwave and then I want to pour it into containers to make small circles with different uh, sizes. So I have three sizes of these. So that will become the size. And so that is one of my ideas. Another idea I have is um, if you have a lid with uh, somewhat of a shape in it, you can pour the gel plate uh, potion <laughs> into here and then you will have a wavy back and a flat top. And my next idea was, is to lay one of my stencils on top of that potion. <laughs> and I will put everything uh, on screen or in the, and in the description box down below, my recipe and how I made these. Because these stayed good for two years, two and a half years now. So, and my black one, I can't find it anywhere. I... Uh, I don't know exactly because my art room now is um, in this array because I'm uh, rearranging everything in my art room and I want to uh, get everything its own uh, place in my room. So that's okay. Too much information. I will crack on with this. So this is something that can uh, work in the microwave. And you can do this, of course, in many ways. I already did this with my larger plate. So I know this, this can be done. But because these are so old, and this is, uh, by the way, uh, ink that you see on top of this. So this is such a long time ago that I did it and these are old so I don't know exactly if this will work but uh, if it doesn't I will just buy new glycerin and uh, the packets of um, to make jelly uh, to make jelly with that's uh, really food I can't remember the word and I took the packets upstairs. I'm downstairs now, so <laughs> I always do that. <laughs> make a video and then leave <laughs> half of it upstairs or something. I, I did wanted to make this video upstairs, a video, and then show you the, those packets. But, well, <laughs> that's why they are up, upstairs. I'm always uh, trying to get my stuff to go um, in my art room because it's getting I don't know if I'm I will keep this edge is a little bit uh, tough it 
became a little bit harder so I'm cutting this uh, small edge I'm cutting that off so I can't do that I don't know if I'm a frame now but I think that's just I'm watching my cat my cat is mis mischievous at this moment so I don't know exactly what he was doing but it didn't <laughs> but I will cut these in small as small as I can get it and then I will uh, reheat it in the microwave and then I will show you uh, the next step so see you then so this is the last one I'm going to cut so I'm to show you what it looked like so if you have old gel plates that you want to do something new with you don't have to uh, throw them out so this is how it looks now and it really it doesn't matter that it has paint so my uh, what I told you about uh, the other one it just became that color so I'm really curious what color this will become so this is also one of my new ideas is that you can put some paint your favorite color and then make colored uh, gel uh, plates why not it's just nice for the to look at right so I'm trying it in my microwave but if it doesn't uh, work as much as I want it to I'm just uh, going to reheat it in uh, one of my pans on the stove so but for now I want to try this and so this is plasticky I will put it in my plastic waste uh, bin and also what I wanted to show you while I'm waiting on that is um, if you have a lid and this is not all the way clean but well if you have a lid and you with a shape in it you can pour this in and then you will have this shape as a sort of a stamp or this will be could be a label so I also want to try this I want to check it in between so just I'm going to check it in between if it's yeah it's getting gooey now it's looking like this so it is reheating but oh it's really warm <laughs> I can't really touch it so okay let's just go for it and then put it on the higher it's really sticky it's quite sticky so it really has to be liquid to pour so I hope that will work I also have a thing to pour it with so I will be back if this is really done like well uh, it's a little more yeah it's a cool Ooh, wow Christmas time there's no need to be afraid <laughs> <laughs> so now it really is difficult to get the small chunks but it's a really uh, weird consistency so it's like a little bit like syrup or and then the small chunks are all paint so that will become really uh, a nice extra bonus but I really have to make it yeah make it so hot I think this would be better on the stove but I am going to put it uh, back I think I'm putting in a little bit of uh, water because it's so syrupy 
right now that's really good but I want those chunks to become a little bit better so than they are now so I will do that and then I will uh, be back for the pouring so it's getting late <laughs> I still am reheating, putting a little bit of water, and then uh, doing this. So, because I think because there were a, there was a colina on one of them, it is getting a little bit uh, brown. Let me see. If, yeah, but the chunks I can't really get out of, so it will be a little bit chunky. You could sift it, of course, but I won't do that. I'm just, uh, they will go to the bottom, I think. I want to just try it already. <laughs> I have, it's getting dark, so I really, so if you want to reheat uh, and do this, do it on the stove, because this is really taking me too long. So it's a little bit like syrup and I will try because there will be strings and the glass uh, thing I wanted to, um, yeah, I, I don't know if, if I'm going to pour it into the glass one because I don't know if this one is uh, heat resistant or something. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know if it's just for sauce or, uh, yeah, I mean, just don't. Um, don't want to take the chance or something so I want to use this round and this round thingy and this round thingy and if it's going okay I'm going to pour it into this so I don't know if I can pour it because it's so gooey so I'm afraid that it will uh, yeah yeah I can do it Okay, I will let that sit, get the next one, so I hope uh, this can work, even with the small chunks in it, I hope that I can use that for extra, um, yeah, how do you call that, uh, don't really think and do this at the same time, that's a little bit too much, I think, but I will leave it and then leave it to um, yeah to see what happens so all the chunks are a little bit in the bottom and the less chunky is on top so <laughs> I hope that wasn't too much so I did pour it into the blue lid in the middle what I showed you on the so this is what it looks like <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> let that thing fall into it so I will uh, get some more because I still have something left and I also have this but I don't have enough to try that so I'm going to uh, use this this is also one of the things I used before when I uh, made my own <laughs> it's so sticky I don't even know how sticky this is, it's really, and now the chunks are a little bit on the bottom, so, yeah, I couldn't really do something about that, but I'm just doing it like this, I already have stick out. So now I have just enough for the glass one, so I will get the glass one, if I can get this string to detach <laughs> so now it's a little bit it's cooled off a little bit so I can so now I have brown I have a brown uh, jelly plate thingies I will pour the rest because this is not all the way the bottom and I could get something small but this is uh, yeah the last bit so I couldn't really yeah the chunks will get hopefully will get a little bit te of touch texture and then uh, yeah i will just uh, roll with it right as if i was baking <laughs> looks like Every 
So, I'm back and I want to show you what happened. So now it's all, uh, yeah, it has a little bit of bubbles going on, <laughs> bubbling, but what you do is you get the edge to come off a little bit, so you pull it. That's the first thing you have to do when you make your own gel plates. Never go in with a knife or something like that. Just pull the edge away. Don't be afraid to rip it. You can just reheat it and do it again without all those chunks. <laughs> I should have started with water. I just, when I was editing, I was thinking about what I could do different. So this is how this one is looking. On this side, uh, you see all the chunks, but it's, it's flat. Yeah, I have to let it dry a little bit. On this side, I feel chunks a little bit. So on one side, I have chunkiness. It seems like if it's like it's food. <laughs> I have a nice shape in the middle. There's an, uh, a round thingy. Yeah, this is really cool. This is somewhat how my uh, black one is looking, but then with uh, more uh, shiny, uh, shiny uh, chunkies in it. So I will pull them all out. This one I pulled out already um, the edges. So this is looking like this. So you will have this round. To, uh, you can also hold it really easy. And you have this shape round thingy. So I have this one. And then I will pull the other one also loose from the edge. I see a string, a few strings from pouring. So try to pull it out. And I have this shape. So the, the string you can just pull away. And I have this shape. This side and then on the other side the yeah, I have bubbles, so that will show up if I'm printing with that. And the strings you can just pull away. But this side, this side has also rings from the from the shape from this uh, thing. So I will pull this one as well. So now I have my own round gel plates. And they are working, I know that already, so. so I will put the recipe, I already uh, edited that. So this one is a little bit thin, so I will have to be careful with this. So I will mount it onto something sturdy, and then I can make these marks. Not only the round shape, but also what's in it. So this is the, the big, the most sturdy one, I think. Oh, that just came out really easily. And this one has an oval shape. And also all the chunks, uh, yeah, that's just um, just uh, paint, paint chips, what you see. So the chunks that I didn't get to melt you can see really well on this one and so I will have yeah I will have really uh, a lot of texture texture on this side not only from the bubbles but and on this side I also see a different shape from the plastic container let me see if I can show you a little bit I'm sorry about the glare but this is the way I can show you so this is uh, part one and part two I will take you on a journey and we will uh, use these to go and gel print with. My daughter has a knee operation in the morning so I don't know if that will be this week 
but uh, yeah I'm really happy I uh, saved all this so now I have uh, one two three four five new gel plates to play with and on both sides so what do you think about this one let me know in the comment section below uh, and also subscribe now I, I have brown jelly plates so you can make your own um, colored gel plates and you heard it here for the first time I never saw it anywhere so <laughs> I couldn't resist to say that <laughs> so yeah I'm really happy with this also with the shapes and yeah in the next video we will play with it and I hope this will be very soon so i will keep you updated on this one and i will see you then bye Doei. Doei.